Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Yakshi. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Study reveals coronary atherosclerosis prevalent even in low-risk adults with normal cholesterol levels. In a recent study published in the journal JACC Advances, researchers examined the presence of coronary atherosclerosis using coronary computed tomography angiography in asymptomatic adults without traditional risk factors based on their serum levels of low density lipoprotein cholesterol, non high density lipoprotein cholesterol, and A polyprotein B. They found that coronary atherosclerosis is common and the prevalence increases the increasing levels of atherogenic lipoprotein even in low risk adults without traditional risk factors. Atherosclerosis cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of mortality worldwide primarily due to coronary atherosclerosis which begins early and progresses over time. Elevated LDLC is a major contributor to ASCVD and lowering LDLC levels is essential for prevention. Traditionally, LDLC levels of more than 160 mgdl were considered elevated while levels mgdl were deemed optimal. However, these thresholds may still be inadequate for preventing atherosclerosis for ASCVD. Data for the present study was sourced from the Miami Heart Study which included a total of 1033 participants aged 40 to 65 years. All participants were free of clinically symptomatic cardiovascular disease and were not undergoing lipid lowering therapy. A subgroup of 184 participants were optimal risk factors and also identified. Individuals with high risk conditions such as obesity, high grade 9 levels, asthma, cancer or pregnancy were excluded from the study. The median age of the participants was 51 years with 42.1% being non-Hispanic white and 55% female. Data on demographics, clinic history and coronary computed tomography, angiography imaging were collected. Coronary atherosclerosis were diagnosed using the Agatson method and classified according to the American Heart Association guidelines. The study cohort had medium serum LDLC, non HDLC, and APOB levels of 125, 144, and 94 mgdl, respectively. A majority of the participants had a lower predicted 10 years ASCVD risk, with over 86% having 5% risk. Men showed a higher body mass index, atherogenic lipoprotein levels, and ASCVD risk compared to women. In conclusion, the study suggests that among asymptomatic, apparently held middle-aged US adults without traditional ASCVD risk factors, coronary atherosclerosis is common even at serum cholesterol levels considered to be normal. The condition's prevalence increases with higher LDLC, non-HDLC, and APOB. Despite this, population's relatively infrequent high-risk plague features, healthcare professionals should consider lowering serum atherogenic lipoprotein through diet lifestyle changes or medication to potentially prevent or delay coronary atherosclerosis and improve their health outcomes. That's all. Thank you for watching Medical Dialogues. Stay tuned for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.